Welcome in, everyone. It's been a little bit since I've been able to speak to everyone, and we have a huge topic to talk about today, and that is Delta Force, President Donald Trump, and the cartels on the other side of the Mexican border. And before we get into all of that, there's been a lot of news. I need you all to like this video, subscribe to the page, comment with your thoughts, share it where you can. That really helps grow the channel, helps to get the message out to as many people as possible. And the more people that we get the message out to, the more stories we get to share of American heroes, which is obviously what this channel and this podcast is all about. And that's what we want to do. So like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do. It is greatly appreciated. Now, today, I want to talk about a subject that has been discussed at length in the news since Donald Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States after beating Kamala Harris in the election on November 5th. The election was called in the early hours of November 6th. And hate him or love him, Donald Trump is going to be your next president. He will be the next president of the United States. And he is making moves in the cabinet position right now when it comes to who is going to staff his administration. Trump appears like it's very possible that he considers direct military action against the drug cartels south of the United States border. Why is that? The cartels essentially have free reign. We have about 100,000 drug overdose deaths a year in this country. That's the equivalent of essentially having the Vietnam War happen twice every single year when it comes to Americans dying from substance abuse, much of it fentanyl coming from south of the border, and something needs to be done. One of the options that has been considered at length is having special operations units, specifically Delta Force, supported by other units, go in, hit these cartels, take out their leaders, take out their foot soldiers, essentially use the pure might of the United States military to change the outcome of the drugs flowing over the United States border. And before we get into this and what I think this might look like, I want to play a short clip from an interview that took place a couple of years ago with three Delta Force operators that I conducted and their thoughts on whether or not using Delta Force to fight the drug cartels was a realistic option. Let's roll that footage right now. Uh, So I don't know if you guys watch the news a bunch. Obviously, I work for a news agency, so I see it. Drug cartels are big back in the news now. And I know that there's been a lot of public reporting all the way back to Escobar uh, with tier one U.S. units getting involved with that. Do you think the U.S. has the capabilities if we said, fuck it, let's just decapitate all these cartels immediately? Could the U.S. military just go in and wipe these people out? Why, why would you? You could just build a wall and have good border security. <laughs> there you go. All right. Like, like, I'm Woo! Just, I'm what did you say? That is, that is the least efficient way to tackle the fentanyl problem. The, fent- the, the easiest way is to build a wall beef up border security, I don't know, throw the National Guard down there and stop it from coming over. There you go. That's a very but Dave, 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 to answer your question? Yes. It'd be done in a, yeah. it'd be done in a week. We could fucking annihilate them if, if they use the proper forces to go do it. Yep, absolutely. Now, now, would it go away? I'm not saying it would go away. Would we put a fucking huge impact in it? Absolutely. Yep. Um, that's, the, that's kind of what I figured. Bob, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, you, you give us, you give us the green light to, to go just our Intel guys doing what we did overseas. And, and, you know, you take, you take the leash off. I, I mean, it would probably, it'd probably be a week or two weeks. I mean, it, it's, they, yeah, they got, they got their, uh, they, they got their Intel guys too, but who who have they been dealing with the last fucking 40, 50 years, 60 years? Right? Yeah, I mean, we, just they the have, Mexican cops. They, they yeah. see the men with green they're, eyes land, they're going to shit themselves just so, like anybody else. So I, I agree that we could we could take them out. I don't know if it could be one or two weeks because they got this thing called the jungle. <laughs> and that shit's difficult. Um, but I actually, like, as a thought experiment, I mean, I never really thought about it, but I feel like that might actually be a a, a more difficult fight than Iraq and uh, Afghanistan. 
not in the overall like us being able to defeat them but just like on the individual engagement level because they will be better trained better equipped right they will have intelligence services they will be uh, probably more organized i don't know maybe you get, uh, I, I don't, think, I don't think they'd house. be more organized. They, they 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 go they run off the base of fear. These I mean they're most of them are fucking idiots. I mean when it comes down to actually fighting for real, they, they don't they know shit. Yeah, but same thing for Al Qaeda. So right. <laughs> um well I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Sicario, but Sicario, as far as I know, is the only movie, and, and if any of you know, correct me if I'm wrong, the only movie. That involved drug cartels, and then they had Delta Force in that <laughs> film too, smoking some of those guys throughout. Great movie if you've never seen it. But they had the uh, FBI liaison, so it was all legit. Yeah, is that a real thing or is that bullshit? Is that a Hollywood fiction? No, that's there's got to be some. There's got to be a. There's got to be some more. Uh, there's got to be some more paperwork than just that for for uh, a military unit to be doing any sort of that shit. <laughs> Well, let me ask you. So as you can see from the video clip we just played of three Delta Force operators, they believe it is very possible that Delta Force could go in and smack around the drug cartels, take out targets, although it would come at some level of risk. It would come with some level of, you know, I would say combat that you really haven't seen. As one of the operators pointed out, a lot of this would have to be jungle jungle combat, which is not something the United States has dealt with since the Vietnam War, which was obviously a very, very long time ago. It's now 2024 and things are things are not like they were during the Vietnam War, but make no mistake about it. Delta Force is every bit as prepared and ready to fight the enemy wherever, at any time, at a place of our choosing. If the enemy's dumb enough to show up, Delta Force will take care of the rest. So what exactly might Delta Force fighting the drug cartels south of the border to stem and or stop the flow of drugs, illegal drugs in the United States look like? I actually think after talking to a couple of people, what we're seeing now in the show Lioness, even though it's very dramatic, it's over the top, it's, it's not entirely realistic, is kind of what you could expect. So I spoke to some people that are much smarter than me, obviously are from that world. I am not. I was never in the military, certainly was never in Delta Force, but I spoke to some people who were in that world and still are adjacent to that world, work in that world. And essentially the argument they made, kind of like you see in the clip we just played, is that our technology and our intel and our ability to reach out and touch people wherever we want is so good there's nothing the drug cartels could do to stop us. So let's let's scheme up for a second. What would it look like if Delta Force was to conduct a hit south of the border on a drug cartel? I think what you would likely see, and again, this is speculation because it's not something that is currently underway. It's not something that has been done at large scale, although there are uh, reports we can say of Delta operating south of the border in Mexico, and I'll, I'll leave that at that. You can find that information on Google if you search long and hard enough. What I think would happen is you would likely see small teams, six to 18 operators, maybe as many as 24 operators going into targets where high level cartel leaders work, middle of the night, night vision, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. They would come in hot and heavy. They'd hit the target fast, get in, get out. And these would be capture kill missions, just like we saw when they were battling Al Qaeda just like we saw when they were battling the insurgency, just like we saw in Afghanistan against the Taliban, just like we saw uh, in Syria, just like we've seen time and time and time again. And the goal of these operations is to cut the head off the snake. One of the criticisms of this plan is that you can't really defeat a drug cartel because so many people on the lower levels are essentially street criminals. And there's some truth to that. In fact, there's a lot of truth to that. But the reality of the fact, the reality of the situation, excuse me, is this. If you cut the head off the snake, if you can go get the head of every drug cartel, if you can get their top five or six guys beneath them in the chain of command, number one, you're going to crush their ability to communicate, uh, coordinate logistics, crush their ability to make battle plans. And that's what I think you would see happen. You would see targeted killings of the leaders of drug cartels, not just the head, but you'd see it down the command structure, three, four, five degrees removed from the head. And don't think for one second that the U.S. does not know where those people are at any given time. We absolutely do. And if the United States decides that the best option is to fly in in the middle of the night, you could have Apache supporting them. You could have helicopter gunships. You could have uh, uh, AC-130 gunships, I mean. 
they would lay waste to anybody stupid enough to try and come and stop them. And, and let's be honest, we've seen this before. We can look at the raid that killed Baghdadi, the leader of ISIS, and it's not that much different. He was in a compound, heavily defended, heavily fortified. He had a QRF team not that far down the road. Delta rolls up, lays waste to the bad guys. The QRF shows up. A helicopter sends them into the afterlife, probably not to the good spot in the afterlife, if you know what I mean. And then the Baghdadi runs off and eventually, you know, unalives himself from this earth. And it's not overly dissimilar from the Bin Laden raid, although you could expect your average cartel high-ranking official to have significantly more security than Osama Bin Laden did in Pakistan. So I think that's kind of what you would see. You would see strike teams that would stage along the southern border, uh, maybe even off aircraft carriers or naval ships if they thought the drug cartel leaders were on the coast and they could get to them that way. They'd come in fast. They'd come in in the middle of the night. You could have as many as two dozen operators on the ground. They would be supported by Task Force Orange, the CIA, Special Activities Division, the broader military in general, probably the FBI, certainly the DEA. All of those tools in the toolbox would come together, be picked out for their specific role, and they would build a mission set that Delta could execute. And let's not forget, this is what Delta's bread and butter is. Delta's best job is to go out on direct action or hostage rescue missions and shake stuff up, knock stuff around, take chess pieces off the chessboard. And I'm sure, you know, there's probably some cartel people who would say, well, we've got good enough security. We've got enough guys. Maybe you do have really good security. Maybe you do have enough guys. But when an Apache comes in and softens up the target seconds before three helicopters hit the ground and the best shooters on the planet disembark with night vision, the best night vision technology the world has ever seen, technology most of the world doesn't even know exists yet is my understanding for what they're currently using. When they get off the helicopters and they're rocking that and all you see is men with green eyes coming at you, those cartel members are going to be dead before they even know what hit them. And they're going to take out the leaders. They're going to take out the command structure. And then the organization could, in theory, implode upon itself. So if I had to guess, that's what I think would happen. I think that it's probably a coin flip. Whether Donald Trump actually does that as president, I think he will first try to apply extreme pressure on the Mexican government. And if and when that does fail, then I think you could see him pivot to a military option using Delta Force and the special operations community. Hell, throw SEAL Team 6 in the mix. I'm sure they'd want to be in there. You could use the Ranger Recon unit. You'd have CIA Recon out there. You'd have every tool we could to stop the flow of drugs and stop the deaths of civilians here in America. That's my theory. I don't know. We haven't seen it yet. I'm basing this off people I've talked to who have way more knowledge than I do. But you let me know in the comments what you think Trump should do when it comes to dealing with the drug cartels. And make sure to like and subscribe. And again, comment with your thoughts in, in the comment section below.